I'm Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. So how will today's summit change the president's $950 billion plan? This expert says it won't. The final bill will be passed if it does only with Democratic votes. It doesn't help them uh, uh, simply making further concessions to Republicans. Here's what they're likely to be voting on. Mr. Uh, Obama's plan, not, based on order. bills that passed the House and Senate, aims to extend coverage to 31 million uninsured Americans by mandating that everyone get insurance, providing generous subsidies to lower income Americans, and by setting up state-based insurance exchanges. It's a Republican idea, it works. Um, what I like about exchange, it's like orbits. It's like um, Expedia. <laughs> You know, you go to Orbis or Expedia to, to buy an airline ticket, you compare it, get the best price. Another Republican idea in the plan, allowing Americans to buy insurance across state lines. Both sides also agree insurers should not be able to discriminate for pre-existing conditions. And the White House beefed up its proposals to attack fraud and waste in Medicare in response to GOP urging. But there's one big Republican priority that won't be included, and that's major medical malpractice reform. A large portion of the tests we order every day aren't for patients. They're for doctors. And the reason they're there is because we are risk averse to the tort system. To offset the plan's huge price tag, Democrats want to trim Medicare by half a trillion dollars over 10 years, largely by slashing the private Medicare Advantage program. There would be new taxes on the pharmaceutical and medical device industries and a tax on high-priced insurance plans. All of the different fees that are in this legislation, it inevitably increases the costs on the consumer. To pass this plan without Republican support, Democrats in the Senate would likely have to resort to reconciliation. That's a process that only requires 51 votes, but it's normally reserved for budget matters, not enormous policy undertakings like this one, Katie.